and tertiary institutions are hoping to go back to some kind of normality, normalcy after student protests earlier this year against the cost of higher education. Several universities have now allowed qualifying students with historical debt to register. Today we are focusing on South Africa's higher education crisis. Our reporters are at major institutions to find out what the plans are going forward. And on that note, let's take you to ENCA's Slindelo Masigani, who is at the University of Pretoria. So, Slindelo, one of those universities uh, headed up by uh, Professor Tawana Kupe, um, and, you know, one of those institutions that do face questions from time to time around uh, issues of access and the fees um, and the debt crisis that many universities uh, face. What are they telling you? What are the authorities at UP telling you this afternoon? Well, Celeste, we have been in and around uh, Johannesburg at the various institutions that we saw uh, protest action at. We started off at Wits University, uh, then went to UJ, and now we are here in uh, Pretoria at the university. Uh, just to get a sense of uh, where things stand uh, in terms of uh, some of the discussions that have taken place with management and how really students are feeling on the ground. We know that many of these institutions at this stage are embarking on online learning and so it's quite difficult uh, to get to speak to those students but um, we are joined by the SRC and uh, one of the officials, Tandi, thank you so much for your time. Um, just to give us a sense of what some of the main issues were or are continuing here at UP and uh, what discussions have taken place with management to address those issues. Okay. Um, thank you very much for the platform. Um, so one of the biggest issues we did have was historical debt, right? Because you need to take into perspective majority of the black students that um, do study at the university do not and cannot afford the very same education that is said to be free, right? And secondly, the issue that we did have was uh, residential affairs because you need to take into perspective with the COVID, everything, everything. Um, most learning is at the moment online, but then you have to take into consideration that students need a conducive learning environment to, to actually study. They need to have access to that. They need to have access to Wi-Fi. They need to have access to majority of the learning materials that they need to actually succeed within whatever study program that they are in. Um, now, to answer your second question, as to what is in the, the, the progress, or rather what has then happened, is that um, as the University of Pretoria is, we were able to get in uh, an arrangement with the majority of um, residences that do offer uh, placement. And we're able to place um, a lot of students. Um, we are still in the process because you have to understand that a lot of students, even at this time, they are not. But um, we are in communication with all those students. Um, regarding financial, um, unsuitability. Um, fortunately enough, we were able to uh, register the majority of students that had those complaints. Um, we also opened applications for the SRC Solidarity Fund that was able to actually let students register for the academic year 2021. Now, of course, the national shutdown has been called off. Majority of SRCs say that we must continue with discussions uh, inside boardrooms and not on the picket lines. Uh, are you satisfied with some of the progress that's been made with uh, the discussions that are being had with the department, uh, um, players in the sector, as well as the union of students? Um, not necessarily pleased with the progress, but uh, I am happy that there is some progress. You understand? Because to some extent, you must remember that it's, it is our fight, but um, the little that we're doing does go a long way. Yes. What's your view on the current leadership in the higher education department? Do you think it's, it's capable? Is it competent enough to see some of those issues resolved? Hmm, um, ah, the leadership. It's, that is, unfortunately, we do not have the, 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 the set faith that we must have in the current uh, bearer of office that is um, Minister Blade in Zimande. Because um, at first, you have to understand that the minister blatantly saw um, that there was a national shutdown that was called by various organizations to start with, various political formations, and Saus, to name a few. And quite frankly, to me, I feel like he blatantly just ignored us. He did not even respond to us. And as said, uh, the the cries of students, not necessarily, they do not get to his office. In terms of him occupying his office, he's blatantly 
failing students, the very same students he's supposed to be representing, the very same students he's supposed to be advocating for within the ministerial offices. But then you come to the ground and you find that students are crying for help that he can do, but due to their incompetence, nonetheless, it's, 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 it's displeasing, it's disappointing. Will we see students at UC, UP possibly going back to the streets if uh, some of the issues are not resolved? Uh, I cannot speak to that, unfortunately, at the moment. Um, but as I did say, we are, we are in the process of helping um, students at a speedily rate take into consideration that uh, classes have begun and registration has been closed. So we're still trying to make exceptions for those students in very extreme cases. But nonetheless, I cannot speak on the issue of whether or not we'll be able to go on to strike again or not. Yeah. Right, thank, you, Tandy. thank you very much. All right, Tandy, that is uh, Tandy from the SRC uh, body here at UP. Uh, some of the uh, SRC bodies that I have actually spoken to this morning um, have actually echoed the sentiments uh, that, you've, that you've heard that there really seems to be a lack of trust um, in terms of the higher education department and its leadership um, uh, solving some of the issues that have been raised by, by the students. All right, thank you for that. That's ENCA's Slindelo Masikane out at the University of Pretoria without wasting any time.